We're overwhelmed by the records, and I see no sign that anybody's going to stop keeping them. But the number, amount of records, especially with television, who can keep up with it? This is ABC News Nightline. Reporting from Washington, Ted Koppel. As he so often does, the senior... We senator... record everything. Everything. Yes. The impact of that becomes totally numbing. I mean, future generations are going to be looking at literally billions of pictures and, and reams of videotape and film, and I'm not sure that they'll be able to make any sense out of it because we don't discriminate between what is important and what is mundane. We're facing a tremendous paradox. Uh, on the one hand, uh, we want to be very careful that what is important from our time is somehow preserved. Uh, if we don't preserve it, then in effect we are doing the greatest disservice that we can to generations yet to come because they're not going to be able to learn from our mistakes or for that matter learn from the great breakthroughs that have been made in our time. But on the other hand, we are creating so much information on videotape, on film, on discs, cassettes, paper, that it becomes a matter of being able to perceive what is important and what is not. In this age, this age of technological revolution and explosion, we are inundated by so much information that perhaps the greatest need we have is for a body of people who will sort of sift from that information, will, will, will sort of winnow it down so that we have something in, in a form of order that we can pass on to generations yet to come. When you're dealing with a, a great library, that, in fact, is precisely what a library does. Uh, the largest library in the world can no longer accommodate all the information that is available. Someone has to select. The editing process is more important today than it has ever been in the history of the world. I fear that we in the mass media are creating such a market for mediocrity that we've diminished the incentive for excellence. I think we're losing our ability to manage ideas, to contemplate, to think. We're becoming a nation of electronic voyeurs whose capacity for informed dialogue is a fading memory. If you have never had even a passing acquaintance with Aristotle and Socrates and Plato, then you cannot, you can't really understand the foundations of man's evolving struggle with philosophy and ethics. You begin to lose track of what has always been kind of an undercurrent in man's development, and that is a sort of moral evolution. We have evolved in this century in technical ways that truly numb the mind, but that is not true of the evolution of man as a thinking animal.